Good morning, friends. First of all, let us look at the global queues. Yesterday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up by 90 points, and as of now, SGX Nifty is trading flat. So we can expect a flattish opening with the positive bias in the Nifty. Coming to the stocks in news, the first stock is Tech Mahindra. Life Insurance Corporation of India has increased its stake in the IT service provider by 2% to 8.8% from 6.8% via open market transactions in the last six month period. The average buying price for these shares to date rupees 1050 per share. So we can expect an up move in the stock of Tech Mahindra. The second stock is Tata LXC. The Tata Group company has partnered with the Indian Space Research Organization to enable the upcoming Gangayan mission. Through the association, Tata LXC has designed and developed crew module recovery models for recovery team training of the space mission. Further, the company expanded its automotive and smart mobility focus in North America with the launch of an innovation hub and nearshore engineering center in Troy, McCain. So we can expect an up move in the stock of Tata LXC. The third stock is Jindal Poly Films. The Polish tour and polypropylene films manufacturer has entered into an agreement to acquire 100% shareholding in Netherlands based firm JPF Netherlands Investments BV. JPF is engaged in the business of packaging films business through its three operational wholly owned subsidiaries based out of France, Italy and UK. So we can expect an up move in the stock of Jindal Poly. The next stock is Zydus Life Sciences. The pharma company has received final approval from US FDA for Tedalafil tablets. Tedalafil relaxes muscles of the blood vessels and increases blood flow to particular areas of the body. It is used to treat pulmonary arterial hypertension and improve exercise capacity in men and women. So we can expect an up move in the stock of Zydus Life Sciences as well. The last stock is Mesgon Dock Shipbuilders. The state-owned shipbuilding company has signed a non-binding or non-financial MOU with Tyson Krupp Marine Systems for cooperation and preparation for submarine project P751 in Indian Tyson Krupp Marine Systems would contribute to the engineering and design of the submarines as well as the consultancy support to this joint project while Mesgon Dock would take responsibility for constructing and delivering the respective submarines. So, in today's session, Mesgon Dock Shipbuilders is also likely to make an up. Thank you.